I'm Anisha Choudhury and I'll be reviewing and recommending books for you all. This is our first video and today I'll be talking about five authors you can read in case you're starting out with English literature. So the idea behind this video is the fact that I have loads of friends who didn't really read English novels or storybooks when they were little and now they think they're kind of too old to start. Also, a lot of people who are not very comfortable with their hold over the English language and they don't really know where to start. So I hope this video gives you a good clue as to where to start English reading. Number one, Roald Dahl. Okay, so this is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which is Roald Dahl's most famous book of all time. It's essentially a children's book, like most of Dahl's books are. It's a fantasy, but um, I'm sure you would enjoy it because I read it the first time when I was 10 years old. I'm 19 now and I still enjoy it just as same. There are some peculiar words because Roald Dahl liked to play around with words, but I don't think anyone will have a problem reading these books. Also, there are a number of other Roald Dahl books that you might want to try, like the BFG, Matilda, James and the Giant Peach. I'll name all of them in the description below. And there's also some short stories by Roald Dahl that I would like to share. This one is from Penguin. It's meant for adults. You might just give it a try, but I would say go for this one. Author number two, Arkinaran. So, I guess all of us, all Indian kids, have heard of Arkinaran growing up. And I'll be sharing two of his books, The Malgudi Days and The Guide. So, The Malgudi Days is pretty famous and I think most of the early 2000 kids have seen Malgudi Days as the TV series on Doordarshan and Guide is the movie by Devananda. I think all of us know that. So, these are very good books, brilliant storytelling. These are not children's books, these are meant for adults, young adults. And what is the best thing about Arkin Arayan is the fact the language is very lucid, it's simple to understand and it has a very distinct South Indian flavor into it. Also, there are quite a few vernacular words that you will find in these books and I'm sure you would love these. Number 3. Ruskin Bond Okay, let me give you a small disclaimer. I am a fangirl when it comes to Ruskin Bond. Like, he is in my top 5 most favorite authors of all time and I think any Ruskin Bond will tell you this but his stories are universal. It's beautiful. So any kind of misconception that anyone has that Ruskin Bond is essentially a children's author, I don't think so. Uh, a lot of his stories are simple enough for kids to understand and that's why they form a part of the curriculum in most of Indian schools. But apart from that, his stories are beautiful and they can be read by anyone, any age, any demographic, no matter what. So in case there is just one author that you read amongst all of them, all of the authors that I mentioned, please read Ruskin Bond. He is highly recommended. I'll be sharing a few books. Um, this is No Man is an Island, Stories of Friendship and Bonding. Ruskin Bond. This is from Rupa. It's a short story collection. This is The White Tiger and Other Stories, again from Rupa. And now, The Big Daddy of Short Story Collections. Classic Ruskin Bond, Volume 1. This one's from Penguin. Now, it has got two volumes, this one and another one. This is Volume 1. I would recommend these books or any kind of rusty books that you might find. But also a side note, this book has the first rusty story, The Room on the Roof. And it's by far one of my most favorite short stories of, of all the short stories that I have read. Period. Okay, so in case you don't read anything else, do read The Room on the Roof. Highly recommended. Author number four, Stephen King. Now, I haven't really mentioned a lot of mysteries or thrillers in, about, in all the books that I have talked about so far. So here's a thriller, Misery by Stephen King. You can read whatever you want from Stephen King. It's a gold standard. Pet Sanitary, The Shining, Shawshank Redemption, whatever you want. So Stephen King is one of the most well-known, the most best-selling author of English language all over the world. His stories are brilliantly crafted. They will get you hooked. They will give you sleepless nights. Don't get bogged down by the volume. I know it looks a little thick, but please give it a try in case you know you like mysteries and thrillers. Stephen King is your best bet. Number five, P.G. Wodehouse. 
So if you're sitting at home during the quarantine, you're not feeling very happy and you need a good laugh, go for P.G. Wodehouse. P.G. Wodehouse is one of the best known humor writers in the English language. His books are funny, they will give you a laugh, they are easy to understand. I don't think you should have any problem reading these books. I have Luck of the Boatkins right here. You can read anything. The pigs have wings or whatever you can find. They will give you a good laugh. They will lift up your spirits. And well, P.G. Wodehouse is a staple in case of overnight trains. Just in case. Last but not the least, the bonus series. Now, in case you want to get into a series and if you haven't read Harry Potter, I think the quarantine is the best time to get started. So, don't get me wrong, it is not a children's series, just to be sure, okay? The first book was meant to be for kids when it came out, but you have to understand that this series has seven books, so by the time the last book came out, the characters had grown and so had the readers. So, the first book is meant for 9, 10, 11 year, old, 11 year olds, but the last book is definitely for 17 and above, okay? So, no problem with that. Uh, the, uh, as per the books coming across as childish, the first few, two, three books you might find a little childish. After that, the shit gets pretty intense. So, I would highly recommend the Harry Potter verse. The seven books, I have the collection right here. Also, there are quite a few supplementary books that come with the Harry Potter verse, including The Cursed Child, which, in the form of, uh, which is in the form of a play. This one right here. Also, you have Hogwarts History, Tales of Beedle and the Bard, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It's a whole universe, but I would say start with the series first and then go on to the supplementary books. So that was it from my part. Go ahead, read these books, tell me in the comments how you like them or what are the books you would like me to recommend. I will mention each of the books that I have talked about in this video in the description below. You can buy them, get them from a library, borrow it from someone, whatever, but just start reading. And once you start reading, there's no stopping you. Take my word for it. So thank you. This is a new channel. Hit like, hit subscribe, share it with your friends. Until next time.